I'm Daniel Kennis. I'm a science editor at World Book Encyclopedia. And today I'll be talking about Archaeopteryx. Archaeopteryx was an animal with a mix of bird and reptile traits. It was discovered in Germany in 1861, and it immediately captivated the scientific world. Fossils of Archaeopteryx clearly preserved traces of feathers, and the animal had wing-like limbs. As for reptile traits, it had teeth, a long bony tail, and three claws on each hand. Archaeopteryx was discovered just after Charles Darwin published his theory of evolution. The animal's mix of bird and reptile traits provided a perfect example of evolution in action. Scientists hailed Archaeopteryx as the first known bird. In fact, until relatively recently, it was the only feathered animal known from the Jurassic period. Now you might wonder why I would say that Archaeopteryx had reptile traits rather than dinosaur traits. After all, most scientists agree that birds descended from dinosaurs specifically from a group of meat-eating dinosaurs, the feathered theropods, a group that included Tyrannosaurus. But without other fossils of feathered animals from the same time, it was difficult for scientists to determine that Archaeopteryx was a dinosaur. Instead, most scientists came to believe that birds evolved from other reptiles known as archosaurs. The archosaurs were a group of reptiles that appeared shortly before the dinosaurs. They were an incredibly successful group. They gave rise to dinosaurs and crocodilians, which remain with us today. Many people think that the flying reptiles called pterosaurs were dinosaurs, but that's a mistake. Pterosaurs were actually archosaurs, not dinosaurs. The leading theory for many years was that birds were another group of archosaurs, one that arose around the same time as the dinosaurs. This would make birds cousins of dinosaurs rather than descendants. According to this theory, birds had already been around for about 80 million years or more by the time Archaeopteryx appeared. Over the years, some scientists did argue that birds descended from dinosaurs, especially after this, the discovery of the bird-like dinosaur Deinonychus in the 1960s. But it was only with the discovery of feathered dinosaurs, starting in the late 1990s, that the scientific consensus shifted. Today, most scientists agree that birds descended from dinosaurs rather than some other group of archosaurs. A small number of scientists continue to argue that birds are archosaurs but not dinosaurs. These scientists are in a difficult position because they must argue that all the feathers on dinosaurs have been misidentified. Generally, they say that these feathers were actually collagen or connective tissue. In cases where the feathers are unmistakable, for example, in some fossils of the feathered dinosaur Microraptor, the scientists argue that the animal is actually a bird but not a dinosaur. However, most paleontologists reject this argument. They say it's not supported by the available evidence. Most scientists now agree that birds descended from theropod dinosaurs. In fact, as scientists have learned more about feathered dinosaurs, some have begun to question whether Archaeopteryx was actually a bird. Scientists have recently discovered fossils of two other animals that lived about 160 million years ago or about 10 million years before Archaeopteryx. These am animals are named Anchiornis and Jotinja. Both were similar to Archaeopteryx, with crude flight feathers on their wing-like limbs. However, most scientists do not regard either as birds. Rather, they were feathered dinosaurs that were closely related to birds. These fossils have caused some scientists to reconsider the classification of Archaeopteryx. Maybe Archaeopteryx was also a close dinosaur relative of birds rather than a true bird. When scientists first studied Archaeopteryx, they did not know that it lived alongside a variety of feathered dinosaurs. If they had, they might have been more cautious about identifying it as the first known bird. Still, most scientists are reluctant to reclassify Archaeopteryx. It has been identified as a bird for more than 150 years, and scientists continue to debate the relationships among feathered dinosaurs. For most of us, the debate makes little difference. Whether Archaeopteryx was a true bird or just a closely related dinosaur, the earliest birds were similar to it. Birds were thought to have appeared in the Jurassic period, maybe about 170 million years ago. They probably spent most of their time in the trees, and some may have used their feathers to glide. Eventually, birds develop powered flight. Regardless of how it's classified, Archaeopteryx remains a showcase of evolution in action. In time, birds develop toothless bills, clawless wings, short tails, and advanced flight feathers. They became much stronger flyers. But those changes came after Archaeopteryx. 
It remains an early chapter in a remarkable story of transition, from Tyrannosaurus to crows, ducks, and songbirds.